She ain't washing. She ain't washing. Do that. Yeah, hell, she don't give a fuck about it. Israel, Israel, like woman. Goddamn. This is like this what are you doing? This is like he could just run down the street. She ain't paying attention to him. Yeah, he see, just women, gonna man, They got it. As you see out here at this hour in the first fucking place. Right. At this hour, it's dark. It's dark out. Somebody man. can rob that bitch. Yeah. Knock her ass off. Just push. She, her over she and only take two the feet kids. tall. Right. Just push over and take the kids. Yeah, they they would too. They sell them too. You know? They go rape the little kid. They, yeah, I mean that's what they. He saw like in Jews. And he saw all these elite, all these real rich white people. Mm -hmm. they, they like to, they show you in that movie a hostel. They like to torture people, they like to torture children, put a little, uh, they be raping the children, molesting them, burning their face off, just chopping their fingers off, uh, doing sick shit to them, man. You know them rat Jews look forward to smashing them up, and they like too? Yeah, oh, it, that's where you get blood libel. Get on Wikipedia or on the internet and look up blood libel, blood libel. Okay, that that's one of them. them ju they they've been accused of it and been convicted of it and been put to death for it many times in history. Wow, it's all, it's all through the history. Of England, they uh, some Jew uh, devils got caught. What they do is they snatch little Israelite children off the streets. You know what I'm saying? Probably lure them in with some snacks or some toys and some goodies. You know, like some Hansel and Gretel type shit. You know what I'm saying? They lure the child in their house. And then they kill him, sacrifice him to Satan, and then they drain all the blood out of the child's body, and then they put it in their so-called Passover bread. Yeah, yeah. And then they'll eat it. Yeah, yeah. And they'll drink the blood. Thanks to this woman, it's made possible. And not only that, but they're like, they'll sprinkle the children's blood on each other too. Just like when you read the Bible in the Old Testament, uh, we used to sacrifice animals, right? And then the priest would take the blood from the animal and sprinkle it on people. But these devils, they'll, they'll take the children's blood and sprinkle it on people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. we they worship Satan. Right. Job 30 and 2. Yea, where to might the strength of your hand profit me, and whose old age was prepared. For what in famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former time, desolate and waste. Uh, fleeing Ooh. into the water like bubble eyed blackfish to tell you, oh, that means we got to go to Egypt. Right, right. Because you'll have some fools to say, Oh, do we actually have to leave America? We uh, we gotta get passports. But first of all, you actually think they're gonna give us a passport? We probably can't even get on a plane. We probably on that that no fly list. Through the court, the I went to court on child support. That child support. Oh, they'll get you with that. And um, and the thing is, I, I I've got it all fixed up and hooked up, but they still ain't corrected on the computers yet, man. They still ain't did shit for that. They ain't so trying I, to do if it. If I ever wanted to get a passport, I can't get one. Yep. Now how's that for a fucking curse for your ass? I still can't get my motherfucking license for that cost of that shit. They still ain't correct that shit. That shit was over years and years yeah, ago. Yeah, what kind of bullshit is that? You can't get a license if you owe child support. Right. And it's my kid. Yeah. You know, I don't even think it's my kid, to be honest with you. That little monster, that little old motherfucking bastard. That's all right, all these bitches, all these uh, hoes are about to get put to death. That's right, they sure the fuck is. For want and famine, they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness, and former time desolate and waste, who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. Uh, juniper roots. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. To dwell in the cliffs of the valley, in caves of the earth and in the rocks. Among the bushes they break, under the nettles they were gathered together. They, this is the point I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, it's talking about Esau. Right. Yeah. They were children of fools. Children of fools. Yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. That's what I want. Yeah, that's like that uh, Edomite uh, Richard Dawkins. You know that e atheist? They always pushing that atheist in their fools. They never believe in the Most High. Like we asked that one devil that was walking by, and he feared the Lord. He said, Psst. <laughs> he looked at us like that wasn't even an option. <laughs> he left. That's a goddamn joke to a devil. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm gonna read the rest of this. Yeah. Matthew 24 and uh, oh, shit, Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation. That's what's going on right now. Russia and America about to have a battle. Plus, you got like the Palestinians shooting all those missiles on Israel. And you got Iran's top general just said that 
His he said his finger's on the trigger. He's just waiting for the order to destroy Israel. Yep. He said he's ready to go in any time. He's just waiting for wait for the order. That's what he's just he's on he's on standby, son. Well, it's like you watching baseball. You got the batter warming up. He over there warming, getting, getting ready. So he's almost up the bat. And they about to shoot missiles on Israel, and they're going to blow that shit to smithereens. <laughs> Psalms 40 and 615 says, Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame that, that, that say unto me, aha, aha. Oh, yeah. So that, <laughs> that's some Jews. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know, the majority of Jews are atheists. You know that? Who do you think the main people pushing the atheism is? Why do, why do you think during World War II, the the uh, the, Jew, the Nazis, they were burning any any book that was written by a Jew, they burnt that motherfucker. They knew that shit was poison. You know that shit poison your mind. You read it, anything they're talking about will poison your mind. Like watching Hollywood's movies is poison. Listening to uh, uh, industry music, listening to music on the radio is poison. Okay, that shit is harmful to your health. Dude, that's right. Anything that, 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 that a Jew does is, is goddamn poison. That's what the scripture said. Uh, what's the scripture? Uh, his mouth is like a, uh, what's it say? A fork tongue serpent. What is that? They speak lies. What's that? Psalms 56, I think. Uh, he's a fork tongue serpent. That's all I got to say. He's the serpent. That's the serpent that you read about in the Garden of Eden. And that fruit, that's that's his lies. That's that poison. That's that poisonous fruit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it's been cold. It was snowing. There was just a 50 car pile up on the freeway here in Ohio. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Like three people died. Yeah. And, and this is March, March 13th. The Lord said, pray your flight not be in the winter. Right, that's right here. Look, for nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there, there shall be famines and pestilences. Yeah, because when the economy collapses, which has already collapsed, <laughs> so, when, look, man, soon there ain't going to be no goddamn food in the stores. You see there's a drought in California, they ain't got no water to drink. And they had a big-ass uh, uh uh, Wayne Storm that caused mudslides and shit, and they still didn't water the crops. They didn't water the shit. <laughs> yeah, that's funny to say. Only the Lord can do something like that, man. It can rain like that and still don't water the crops. <laughs> yeah, they had a bunch of cows catching diseases, dropping dead. It, it washed the soil away and shit. <laughs> so what, what, what are you going to do when, 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 uh, like when the economy fully collapses, and you go to the store and everybody's fighting each other over a box of cereal? You know, killing each other over a can of green beans. You know what I'm saying? You fight no, you don't even like spinach, but here it is, you about to kill someone for some spinach. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's gonna be. Motherfucker, you gonna have people eating dog food. You know what I'm saying? Fight, you want they be fighting over cat food and dog food. Cause they, that's all there's gonna be. And then when that's gone, they're gonna be eat each other. There's gonna be cannibalism. Check it out, when Rome sees Jerusalem back in the day, Selling bird shit. And that's scripture. They be eating leather, people start eating their belts and their yeah. shoes. They're gonna be cannibalism. Yeah, but soon you're gonna be looking at your kids as the next great man. Just like on that movie The Road. The rotisserie, your yeah. kid. That's they, right. They put out, yep. Yeah. That little ignorant little fucker that runs around and act like he ain't got no goddamn sense with demons on him, he gonna be on the rotisserie. <laughs> that it always happens. Yeah, right. That happened in ancient Rome. That happened in Jerusalem before. You know what I mean? It happened many times in history, man. That's right. That's right. I hate these goddamn buses, man. Just fucking go. There's a goddamn green light. Just go. Just go? Yeah. Fuck. I can't even read the scripture anyway. It's so goddamn loud. Get over there on the phone. Kingdom against kingdom, there shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places, like pestilences. Like, you know, the, 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 the uh, 
what was that? Uh, the CDC that has an actual plan for a for a zombie outbreak. No, for the diseases and shit. They run drills for it. Right. They're running drills. Just like the military run drills, the CDC, the government of the United States was running actual drills for zombies. Now get that. Imagine that. And now now the CDC also said that antibiotics no longer work. They said we reached reached the end of the road of antibiotics. They say oh, that we reach the end of the road of antibiotics, and they put that in your milk and everything, your food and meat. That's right, that's right. But uh, I'm only clapping because you know what? This is the reward for being a no good, wicked son of a bitch. And, but they got since because the antibiotics, they made the diseases stronger and the viruses have become stronger because that they evolve and, and uh, so they can sur uh, survive the antibiotics. So they don't work no more because they got stronger. And plus, the kid trails they spray. Yeah. That and breaks down your immune system even more. I tell you, I, caught, I had the goddamn swine flu. Damn. I, I, I tell you, that's what the H1N1. Right, right, right. I heard your heart talking about it. That's why I think I got it too. I thought I was going to die this winter. I heard that. You know what I mean? I was fucked up. I, I, I've never seen the, the kind of snot that was coming out of my body, oh, man. Goodness. It was disgusting. What you do is uh, you do whatever you need to do to uh, rid your body of uh, mucus. Mucus is where yeah. that, that hose that shit. Yep. So, you know. Man, start buying that, start racking up on that cayenne pepper, man. Oh, yeah. Because that cayenne pepper I helps you get it that. out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I put it helps cayenne, you shoot it out. I put cayenne pepper on my nose when I'm sick. You familiar with oil pulling? Uh. When you're swishing oil in your mouth, or coconut oil in your mouth for like 10, 20 minutes, and that helps bring that mucus up out, too. Oh, yeah. And I do that every fucking day, man. I ain't had a toothache since I've been That helps you breathe better. That, yeah, yeah. It brings that mucus out. You can sing better, too, when you ain't got all that mucus you can in there. Better. You can breathe better. And I noticed since I've been doing oil pulling, like when I'm doing at the gym, when I'm doing reps, especially like heavy shit, like benching, uh, when I get up in reps, like 10 to 15, 20 reps, I can still breathe better. You know what I'm saying? You can talk better too. Mm -hmm. I can't talk better. It's just how it's yeah, like, like, like your nose up. Your speakers, man. Open your nose up better. Yep. Yep. I ain't never been good at speaking English any fucking way. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up? Oh, well, speaking we're talking about real quick. Shit. We talking about the hospitals, we in the antibiotics. I'm gonna make this point real quick. These ants and up in these hospitals, they said they got super bugs, super viruses breaking out. Because all, what's in the hospitals? Nothing but sick people. That's where all the viruses are. If you want to get a catch a disease, go to a hospital. There's all kind of viruses up in there. That's the that's the most dangerous place on earth is a hospital. So if you get sick, don't go there. You'll get even sicker. That's but right. but they got all kind of super bugs breaking out in there, and they can't contain it. It's getting out. It's going right out the window, and out the door. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that you're gonna have all kind of crazy sicknesses breaking out. That's go back to the scripture talking about them pestilences. Yeah, because my wife when she got her flu shot, first flu shot she had her whole entire life, and she got a flu shot and she gets sick. Every day. Yeah, that break down your immune system. My wife is known not to be sick. I, I know the bitch. I'm all I'm laying next to her. I'm scared to lay next to this bitch now. Man. She's all constant. She stayed sick. I don't remember her the last couple months not being sick, man. I don't even take uh, medicine no more when I get sick. Every time I hey, take yo. the medicine, I get worse. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm if not I lying. I'm coming on, man. I, I, I'm, I'm pumping tea up in my ass. Oh, yeah, that's right. My mom gave her. That, that should work pretty good. Yeah, I pump it. I, and I drink it hot, too. I, too it's, it's burning the shit out of my lips, man. I'm yeah. drinking that shit. Yeah. I sweat it out. And plus, I drink a lot of dark liquor <laughs> if I do get sick. You know, anything to help sweat this shit out, man. Anything to help sweat it out, man. I could use some dark liquor right now. <laughs> I got some scotch at home, uh, bro, but you don't like scotch. I don't like scotch. Man, that's my shit. I know, they got a funky taste. As a matter of fact, I'm going to the store tomorrow buy some tequila and some... I probably, Tequila's good. Yeah, tequila the shit. I'm buying a big-ass bottle of tequila. I like tequila and whiskey. Yep. That's where it's at. Yep. That's that cowboy drink, tequila and whiskey. I'm like That's Clint right. Eastwood out here. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Yeah. The, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's the good and the bad. That's what you see out here when you teach them. You see the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what I'm saying? Let's go get strong drink. Yeah, we're going to get strong. <laughs> hey, but we outlaws. You know what I'm saying? What does Thor well, say? We, uh, uh, yeah, uh, what is, uh, what do they call beer? Uh, what? Uh, Thor in a cartoon. Oh, you talking about mead? Mead, if that's right, mead. Oh, yeah. yeah, they make mead from honey. That's what, yeah, because they didn't have uh, the regular stuff to make beer, so they use honey. Mm -hmm. That sounds good, though. Yeah, man. That sounds good. I got that Viking spirit in me, too, Strong boy. drink. 
strong drink. Get ready to drink some mead and go punch someone in the face. I was say, let's go get a beer. Let's go get strong drink. Yeah, strong that drink. That's how we Hey. Strong drink. Oh, shit. The beer don't really phase me. Beer tastes good, but yeah, the whiskey, yeah, right, right, right. the whiskey's what makes me mean. Mm -hmm. That's what gets you. Mm -hmm. But we like, are we always talking about that movie with Clint Eastwood, The Unforgiven? You see what happened when your boy drank some whiskey in that movie? Yeah, Clint Eastwood made good movies, man. Got his balls back and he went and raised He drank that whiskey, boy. The good, bad, and the ugly is my favorite. Yeah, that's that shit, man. That's a good long movie, too. Yeah, long as fuck. Got the best music ever, too. Yep, yep, sure the fuck do. That's an excellent movie. Hey, hey, too, the dude that made that movie, Sierra, what's his name, Leon? Uh, Sergio Leon? The director, he also made a movie talking shit about them Jews. Uh, Once upon a time in America with Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. and they showed you all about the Jewish mafia, about how evil and nasty they oh, were. Oh, that same dude. I didn't, I didn't yeah. know that. He I made he know. made that movie too. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. So he he's in the know, man. So this, I bet he didn't like them Jews either. That's probably why he made that movie. <laughs> Nobody likes you, goddamn devils, man. That's right. Because your boy that made. Uh, that was a that wasn't a Jew movie. That was that that was made in Italy. Uh, good all the spaghetti westerns. That was made overseas. Sure was. We made it. Yep. Oh, you know Clint Eastwood got me a Jake too. Yep. Hold on, because Clint Eastwood, he, I was watching a video on, on YouTube or something. I seen him on TV years ago. I mean, he always got dark skin and women with him. He, he, he said it too. He's like, I love me some dark skin and women. Of Kenny's yeah. did. <laughs> He's like, I like him dark. Right, right, right. Yeah, he definitely a Jake, man. Yeah, he too, he's too cool. He's too cool, man. He's too cool in the motor movies. He's a little asshole, a little, a little idiot now, though. Yeah, he's still, I mean, you gotta, gotta like him, man. He got, yeah, he's on, he's on that report. At least he ain't on that fucking, he's still a big faggot, though. So no, faggot. don't think we're giving you too much praise. <laughs> You just make movies. That's all you good for. That's it. Nothing else. To you're enter. an actor. You're yeah. a hypocrite. You're a jester, pretty much. Mm -hmm. You're making entertaining me. <laughs> I'm gonna read the rest of this. Matthew 24 and 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Now, everybody got a problem with it problem with us you know there's nobody like us okay like when you when you, when you come out here and teach us word properly like you're supposed to you're gonna make a lot of enemies you're gonna have a lot of people turn their back on you talk shit about you you know what i'm saying you know, people call the cops on you you know fuckers call the cops on us all the time a bunch of faggots fuck them and the cops yeah fuck the police literally we mean that yeah we yeah soon the cops is gonna start getting killed just like over there in ukraine what happened to the cops over there? Oh, they God. got this shit beat out of them. That's right. But you think that's not gonna happen here? That, that's the that's that's the uh, game plan worldwide. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have a lot more of that. Get used to it. Yeah, the worst is gonna happen here to these cops. Oh, uh, because these cops got to come in more than these are the most ruthless cops on the planet. That's right. Because the Columbus cop, I mean Columbus, dog, any cops in the United States, they're not gonna do like the Ukrainian cops and just fight with batons and shields. Shoot. They're gonna be shooting. Mm -hmm. They'll shoot your ass right now for pulling a wallet out. <laughs> oh, there's, 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 your ID out here. there's one kid got shot because he had a weed controller in his hand. Yeah, the door he the opened controller. the door yeah, with a weed controller that blew his ass away. That's right, that's right. He's just playing that's right. Nintendo. That's right. You know, I'm just playing Nintendo, got shot. So these cops, you know, so y'all may not think so, but your judgment's coming too, buddy. Because you ain't, you ain't nothing but a, a, a naive fool that. You're, you're representatives of uh, the Walchild family. That's all you're doing. You work for the Walchild family. That's what that badge is for, if you didn't know. Yeah, they don't. All them cops are a bunch of dumbasses. They don't know shit. All right. They don't, they don't know what's going on. You got a big ass <laughs> Damn. It's uh, Matthew uh, 24 and 10. You cannot tell me a black woman is not ugly. She's out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a curse on these ugly bitches for being undisciplined. I mean, the ones that, the ones that look real good are hoes. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? So it's a lose lose. Yep. It's lose lose. Yeah. Better off being with one of these ugly bitches in that one pretty good. Get that big and hairy and tough looking bitch. Yep, yep. Yeah, you better off getting with an ugly bitch. You still better roll that dice and send prayers oh, up to yeah. the most high. For real. Stay away from the fat bitches. <laughs> 
Matthew 24 and 10. And then shall, shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise. Uh, we, we've seen your boy Comfy's people, they're false prophets. They attacked them too like they were supposed to. They didn't have nothing to say. Literally, they had no, They said nothing. That's right. They, they actually, we asked, started asking questions. They got in the car and left. We approached them as humble men. And the video, we, the video's up on the channel. Yeah, approach them as ser humble servants of, of your house, Shai, and these motherfuckers. Just, instead of answering questions, 